I'm here because I'm a human being and I have care for Palestine and I'm here to support Palestine and Lebanon. We are here at the uh, Surface Paradise on the Gold Coast attending this peace rally. Uh, we had a march uh, asking for ceasefire in Gaza. Coming to protests here on the Gold Coast now for nearly 12 months and uh, today we had a really good good crowd actually um, of people who are on here on holidays and I think so many people are just feeling so much grief and uh, despair about the bombing of Lebanon as well on top of all of the trauma in Gaza that uh, they really felt compelled to come out today so we had a very spirited and well attended march in Surface Paradise. Albanese and Wong they are an utter disgrace to the Australian nation. Absolutely, oh my gosh, absolutely. We, um, you know, all arms embargo. We're still making the parts that are doing these, are making these bombs. We also stopped the aid to UNRWA. That is complicit. The funding and the providing the necessary weapons to continue with this so-called genocide. So that's very, very sad on part of our Australian government. I mean, we were expecting, because there are a lot of, lot of people around Australia, the citizens of Australians, they've been participating in protests and demonstration, pleading with the government to do something about it, but they've not achieved as much as they could have done. They wouldn't even vote to support a Palestinian state uh, in the UN. Um, you know, they've, they've failed time and time again to actually stand up and condemn Israel for uh, its illegal settlements, uh, for to, to demand that it actually withdraw from the West Bank, um, to demand that it uh, cease its war on Gaza. I mean, the amount of uh, justification that we had to put up with for months and months and months and months when you know Israel started bombing Gaza uh, about how uh, you know it was basically we should let the Israelis continue with their military, so-called military operation to root out Hamas uh, and terrorism. I mean, you know, they basically they are speaking from the script that Israel is writing. Our Australian government should have distanced themselves from a genocide. They should stop sending any military parts to Israel because we will we will be be we are part of this genocide now. Our government and everybody in this country is part of it. They were just claiming that they are with the human rights, they are with the Palestinians, so they know the whole story. It's not that they don't know it or they need us to educate them. They know it, though they were the most complicit puppet government in the entire world for this reason. Because they knew they were poor Palestinian, but they stand it with the terrorist Zionist Israeli to commit this genocide and on top of that they've been arming them. When this all started the government to this day has given $70,000 plus to the people of Israel that were affected but they've given nothing to Palestinian families. The amount of Palestinian families that have come over to Australia is so minute and they're here on a holiday visa. So you've got, you know, Israelis coming here, um, escaping here, and they're, giving, they're given everything by our government, but then the Palestinian families are actually given nothing. It is appalling to me that our governments around the world just keep on letting Israel get away with murdering civilians in the hundreds of thousands now. Uh, nobody seems to be able to stop them. America keeps sending them bombs and missiles. Australia helps with the parts for those bombs and missiles. Uh, so do a lot of other Western countries. The UN just had Netanyahu come and speak in New York at the United Nations. Um, I think they've got a, they're about to give arrest warrants out for him and yet they invite him to speak. Everything seems upside down. So all we do is we come out here week after week, month after month, and we'll do it year after year if we have to, to send the message that what Israel is doing is wrong. It's immoral, it's disgusting, and they need to be stopped. They are committing a genocide in Palestine, and they're just about to commit another one in Lebanon.